What's up everyone, it's Caddy with MoneyVest. So in today's video, I wanted to break down 10 sectors that I am going to be most bullish on for the next decade. So these are all sectors that I believe have the most amount of value creation and are going to represent the biggest market size um, as they are going to be growing at over a 10% CAGR. So on a compounded annual basis over the next 10 years, these are the sectors that I believe one needs to focus on. These are places where I'm personally investing in whether it's through individual stocks or even through ETFs or indexes. These are the sectors that I'm going to be looking into. So hopefully this is a helpful video for you. As always, if you enjoyed, find it helpful, make sure that you drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're just joining us for the first time, link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below if you're interested in joining. Of course, getting access to all the members only private videos and there is a 16% annual discount that's available until the end of this month with a couple more spots available. If you're interested in joining, getting access to all the trade alerts, spines alerts, options alerts, everything's going to be available. So before we dive into the 10 sectors, I want to break this down into two different segments. The number one is the value creation of the sector. And the second is the overall market size. So when we talk about value creation, it is simply the increase in economic activity by making everyone in part of that economy more efficient by lowering costs and increasing productivity. So it has a little bit of an indirect effect on the overall economy versus the market size represent the total addressable market. In other words, the total available revenue that these sectors and companies can harness and attract um, as they grow in the long term. So that's the difference because value creation is going to be bigger compared to the market size. So what I'm referencing in this video for these 10 sectors is simply going over the market size, which is cited and taken um, from Statista, Tech Insights, and a lot of different sources that they have forecasted and projected for these sectors over the next 10 years, mostly till 2030, all the way through 2033. So the first one that I'm most bullish on that I've been buying over the last six months or so has been semiconductors, right? So semis. AMD has been one of my top positions as well as SMH, which is a sector that I've been dollar cost averaging into. It's my second experiment, investing experiment that I started with our Discord members. Again, link's going to be down below if you want to follow along with our journey. But semiconductors is expected to increase revenues by 2033 to over $1 trillion. And as we know that as we are moving more towards digitization of the overall economy, we're moving more towards a lot of hardware products, a lot of tech that is going to require semiconductors, whether it's integrated circuits, whether it's companies that are making lith uh, lithography equipment that is used to manufacture chips. And of course, chip designers such as NVIDIA, AMD and Intel, everyone in this ecosystem is going to benefit from the growth of technology and semiconductors is at the top of the list. The second one that I've started buying is going to be cybersecurity. So CIBR is the ETF that I'm buying, and this one is expected to approach a market size of close to $500 billion by 2030. So this is the third experiment that I started. The first one, of course, is with VUG, the second one with SMH, and the third one is through CIBR. The third Without goes uh, goes without saying, generative AI. So artificial intelligence has really taken off ever since ChatGPT was launched. And this market size by 2032 is expected to reach $1.3 trillion. And uh, there's going to be a lot of application both on a software and hardware standpoint. So $1.3 trillion might still be an underestimate of what this could potentially be over the long term. So definitely looking into ETFs and stocks that can harness the power of AI and can grow within this space. Now, Palantir is a great example. There's NVIDIA, obviously, that kind of falls in both semiconductors and they're powering chips that are used to program large language models that can be uh, utilized in artificial intelligence. But Meta, Google, Microsoft, and Apple are all great examples of generative AI and how they're going to use the power of AI to kind of enhance their own products and services. The fourth is going to be solar. Now, renewable solar, as we know, oil is limited in the world. There's only 50 to 60 years left. And for future generations, solar renewable energy is going to be a pretty big deal. And this sector by 2032 is expected to approach a whopping 2.2 trillion dollars including the fifth one which is going to be electric vehicles and by 2030 evs are accounting for 1.6 trillion dollars in total market size so those two combined already make up for almost four trillion dollars in market size so those two at the top of the list lots of potential for growth lots of value to be unlocked in these two sectors Number six is going to be cloud computing. Now, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, and Amazon Web Services are all great examples. They're still growing. There's going to be an ever-growing need for cloud services. In fact, the moneyvest.com, the website that we're launching, is going to be built on AWS. So we started a new account with Amazon Web Services. We're going to be hosting our website on AWS as well. And as more and more businesses come online, Cloud computing and cloud services, very, very important sector. By 2030, expected to reach $2.4 trillion in market size. 
Number seven is going to be biotech. Now, as we know, we advance since in uh, medical, pharmaceutical, and healthcare, biotech is going to be increasingly more important as new technologies get developed, new treatments, and new medicine is going to come online. And that market is expected to reach $1.3 trillion by 2030. So um, IW, IBB, XBI, small cap biotech, and of course, LABU, which is a little bit more leveraged are some of the ETFs and stocks that I'm looking into. Number eight is going to be data science and data analytics. Now, this one is a little bit different because as we get more and more digital, there's going to be more and more data that's going to be created. And as more data has been created, we need the power to analyze that data. That's exactly what PayPal is going to be doing. So in their innovation day in the next couple of days, Alex Chris, the new CEO, has said exactly this, that they're going to harness the data that PayPal has on their servers and they're going to use AI to make processing, payment processing more efficient between customers and merchants. Palantir is another great example of data science and making it more accessible for companies to analyze their data and make them more efficient. And this market expected to reach over $700 billion in the next 10 years. 5G is another IoT internet of things and 5G is going to be number nine. That market's expected to reach over $700 billion by 2030. And then finally, we've got Meta, which is working on virtual reality and the metaverse. And this market's expected to reach $1.3 trillion by 2030. And Apple, with their virtual pro reality headset, is also going to be coming online in 2024. And overall, these 10 sectors combined make up for over $15 trillion just in market size alone. Not to mention, earlier, as I said, the value creation, that's going to be a little bit different. And every single one of them was adding at least a couple of trillion dollars in value addition, which is going to be a little bit more than the overall market size. So all in all, we're looking for these 10 sectors. Personally, these are the tech, uh, I would call them like booming industries within tech that have a ton of potential. They all kind of belong to the technology sector. These are not related to staples or defenses or healthcare or um, education or financials or energy, but they're mostly specifically focused on tech with some that are more towards geared towards renewable energy like solar and electric vehicles as well. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I started a new sort of ETF channel. I posted a new comment in the ETF uh, channel as well, kind of focusing on uh, ETFs that are geared towards your specific sectors and what might be the best options for uh, getting exposure in these particular sectors long term. So again, link's going to be down below if you want to join, be a part of our MoneyVest community, and that's going to give you access to all the 20 plus Discord channels, including our MoneyVest intrinsic values and early access to our software as well. That's going to be launched in end of February and early March as well. So again, link's going to be down below. We'd love to have you on board. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Happy investing. and I'll see you all in the next video.